Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find your Facebook user ID. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I'm on my iPhone. You can do this on Android or a computer as well. Let's open up the Facebook app here, and unfortunately, they don't make it super easy to find. I'll walk you through the steps on how to get it, and if it's not showing up, how to make it show up. So let's tap the menu button at the bottom right. And at the top right, you can see the gear icon. Let's tap on that. We're into the settings now, and we just want to scroll down, keep scrolling down, under your activity, you can see apps and websites midway down. Let's choose that. Now on here, if this loads, let's try it again. Apps and websites. You can see it doesn't say I have any apps or websites. If you do have some on there, you can skip this next step. But if you don't see any on there, you need to basically add one before you can find that user ID. So an easy thing, a lot of people have Spotify accounts. Basically, you need to give Spotify permission to access Facebook, and then you can find it. So I logged into Spotify.com here, and I'm going to tap on the gear icon at the top right. And I'm going to tap on view account. This will allow me to view my entire account. But towards the bottom here, you can see login methods. Let's tap on that. You want to add Facebook as a login method and just tap add. It will say, do you want to allow Spotify to connect to your Facebook account? Let's hit continue here and continue as Trevor. It will give basically Facebook access to Spotify and vice versa. Now that we've done that, let's go back into Facebook. I'm going to go back here and tap on apps and websites. And now you can see Spotify on this list. I'll just tap on Spotify. And finally, at the very bottom, it says if you contact them, aka Spotify, you may need to provide your user ID. And it is right there. All I have to do is hit the copy button if I needed to copy and use it somewhere else. So keep in mind, any apps or websites will have access to that user ID, but to be able to find it, you need an app or website to show up on this specific list. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, and I'll catch you on the next one.